Hey guys, my name is Nina. Welcome to my channel, Inside the Mind of a Human Predator. I felt compelled to make a video about trolling. First, it is something that affects a lot of people on social media, regardless of their status, whether they're just a private individual with occasionally public content, or whether they are a public figure with a large following. Second, it is something that is somewhat more nuanced and at times less obvious than what people perceive it to be. And third, of course, it pertains to maladaptive personalities, which is one of the focal points of this channel. Before I get into it, I have to apologize. I'm sitting on the floor. My hair is all messed up from hiking today. It's getting late. I have to work soon. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only time that I could film, so please bear with me. So let's break this video down as follows. First, let's define what trolling is. Second, let's look at some examples. Third, let's look at the personality types that engage in trolling. And fourth, let's look at the ways in which we can protect ourselves. So what is trolling? Well, in my opinion, trolling is a systematic pattern of behavior coming from usually anonymous accounts on various social media platforms targeting one or many individuals for the purpose of causing a negative emotional reaction in the target or targets and wasting his, her, or their time. So the purpose is malicious and it's a pattern. It's not a one-off event. So that means I'm not thinking of anonymous accounts per se, because sometimes people use them to avoid censorship, of course, nor am I thinking about someone who may have had a disproportionate emotional response to something that really triggered them online and they did not control themselves when they commented, but it's a one-off situation. Now let's have a look at some examples. It's important to note that it does not matter what your content is. It might be a political issue that could be interpreted as divisive by certain parties, but it might be a photograph of a beautiful landscape. It doesn't matter. Anything and everything can be turned into malicious commentary because the purpose is not to provide constructive criticism or raise questions. The purpose is to get your negative response and waste your time. So the most obvious form of trolling is when you post something publicly. Like I said, it doesn't matter what it is. And someone comes out of the woodwork and insults you, insults the content, insults your appearance, and usually it's something that does not pertain to the content itself. Well, that has happened to anyone, even if you don't have public social media, but you comment on news articles or shared pages on certain, on certain platforms, you are likely to have experienced that. Now, some of the less obvious forms of trolling include sea lioning. It's not a term I'm a fan of, but basically it's something that is done under the guise of sincerity. Mm, the troll appears to be treating you with respect and appears to be raising legitimate questions regarding the subject that you had posted. This troll would repeatedly ask for evidence, repeat the questions, and there's no end to this. And the purpose of this is, of course, to waste your time. And the negative emotion here would be not so much anger that someone insulted you or um, sadness or feelings of insecurity, but more um, frustration because this individual seems to not accept the things that you are posting. Another form of trolling is not so much about what the troll posts, but how they post it. So this tr particular troll may leave a really rude and obvious form of harassment, insult you in some way, or this troll may engage in what I've just described, sea lining, 
And of course, the account is anonymous. So if you were to see this particular comment and click on this individual's account information, you would see that not only is this account anonymous, but it appears to have been registered for the purpose of harassing you. This person is only subscribed to you. And the situation may even be made worse when this troll throws out personal information about you. And it doesn't have to be something that is very private or embarrassing. It just might not be something that is broadly known. And what could you possibly think at this stage? Now this person is occupying your mental real estate for a significant amount of time because you're trying to wrap your, your brain around this. Who could possibly be taking the amount of time needed to register a fake account, to follow you on whatever social media platform this is, and to harass you in this particular way. You are probably thinking that it's not just a random troll, but someone that has a grudge against you in real life. So you are spending a significant amount of time and you're wasting a significant amount of emotional energy to try to figure out what this is and how you can resolve this. And of course, that is precisely what the troll wanted from you. Another form of trolling is when a troll might be making comments about your personal life that is public. For instance, you may post a photograph of yourself and your significant other and some totally random person comes out of the woodwork and starts asking private questions like, when are you getting married? When are you going to have kids? Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Now these questions at certain points would be deemed inappropriate when they're coming from your family member and here is a completely random person flinging these comments at you. So what is the personality type that would engage in trolling on a systematic basis? Obviously we cannot diagnose someone based on their anonymous social media persona but we can point out that this person is really interested in attention seeking and it doesn't matter whether you explicitly acknowledge their comments because this individual is savvy enough to know that he or she is eliciting negative emotions in you by behaving in this way and that he or she is occupying your mental real estate so they're getting this endless narcissistic supply of of negative emotions and the knowledge that they are in in your head and of course when the targets are numerous they're constantly getting this on a daily basis on top of that there's this infantile component where this individual does not experience any consequences by and large unlike i don't know as a bully in a school who may eventually be found out. So ultimately it doesn't matter if this person is diagnosable because all we need to know that this individual is maladaptive because behavior, this type of behavior is a pattern and the intent is malicious. And finally, how can we protect ourselves from online trolls? Obviously the most radical solution is to not go on social media. And while it's a very good idea to be able to control your time and effort spent on social media, the majority of people do stay in touch with their contacts or like to learn about various events, creative pursuits, news and so forth on social media. So most likely this is not something that you would be doing. Mm. Option number two is to block trolls immediately. Many people do this. However, if you are a public person, then you know that algorithm, algorithms on so certain social media depend on interactions, comments. It doesn't matter what the comments are like. So you may be interested in having those comments, whether they're positive or negative. Mm, really famous individuals that can afford to have a social media manager don't even look at their comments. Um, so obviously this is not something the majority of us can engage in. If the social media platform allows you to mute, like Twitter, as opposed to outright block, 
This is something that I would recommend if you are a public figure of any status and you are interested in having those interactions. Obviously, having the self-control to not look at your comments or mentions if the platform is set up in a way where you don't have to is another way to to deal with this. The only time I would recommend responding or acknowledging a troll is if it works to your advantage. And I would only recommend this once again to public figures. So if you can turn a comment around and you can either mock the troll or address the question, which would in turn give you that additional following or whatever it is you're pursuing on Twitter, on Instagram, then perhaps that is something that you should do. But generally, it's not a good idea because, as we've mentioned before, the purpose is to get your attention and to waste your time. So when you acknowledge a troll, you are acknowledging that they have succeeded. They've gained your attention and they have wasted your time. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments about perhaps certain forms of trolling that you have been subjected to and I was unable to cover because obviously this is such an extensive subject. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.